you remember, I was looking really forward to D23 this year since it landed on my birthday. And I did not get to go to D23 because I'm stuck on the East Coast and California is so far away from me. However, we still got all the news and we're going to go and discuss what happened. <laughs> there is a lot of news from all over the place that I'm not going to mention everything that they announced over the weekend. I'm just going to mention the highlights. And since I am a Disney World girl, there's more important news that aligns with that. As we all know, the 50th anniversary of Magic Kingdom is coming in less than five years now. And I will be there. <laughs> I will make sure I will be there. We all know that there is a lot going on and they're going to add a lot of changes to it, which we're hoping for good changes. But it seems like it's not going that way. <laughs> There's not that many good changes are happening, but let's just start park by park, okay? Let's, let's split it up. Magic Kingdom didn't get that much news regarding the changes, but I guess because they have been basically changing it for a couple of years now with New Fantasyland and just reventilating the hub central that yeah yeah the new because they just got a new fireworks show so they're already ahead of the game i guess when it comes to the 50th anniversary the only news that they had was that they're getting a tron coaster which i'm really excited for that's a really great thing the tron coaster is supposed to open in 2021 in time for the 50th anniversary so we'll see if it continues and is on schedule or will it fits falls behind or gets ahead we'll see what happens but that's actually a really positive change nothing is going away in Magic Kingdom and it's a really fun ride and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more announcements because there was a ton of rumors that were happening in regards to that park the other news for Magic Kingdom is they're getting a new theater on Main Street which I have no idea where they're going to fit it if they're going to replace the Main Street theater or if they're going to be adding it somewhere. I feel like Main Street is kind of condensed already and it's pretty filled up, but I like Main Street. Main Street is actually my favorite part of Magic Kingdom, even though it's just storage, just because I love the atmosphere of it. I really love that turn of the century vibe and it just, it, it sets the mood for you to go and explore and, and puts you in that world of fantasy and it it welcomes you so Main Street's my favorite and it is nice to see so there are no complaints for Magic Kingdom and I'm sure there's gonna be really fun stuff coming up moving on to Epcot ah it's my favorite park you should all know that's my favorite park it's my home that's where I worked and it is very precious to me I don't know how I feel about the changes that are happening with Epcot I know as well they're also doing an overhaul, which they haven't announced a lot of stuff for it yet. So I'm still hoping we get some more countries. I want more countries. I think there's space for it. They've had the space for about three decades now. I think it's time that we get some progress happening in World Showcase. And it goes back into what World Showcase stood for, which is basically bringing you to the other countries, which can lead into Ratatouille. So Ratatouille Ride, I'm excited that they're bringing into the park for World Showcase. And the difference I'm excited for that compared to Maelstrom being taken away for Frozen is because while Frozen was inspired by Norway, that does not take place in Norway. However, if they put Anna and Elsa in Norway, it would have been better. It's a wonderful ride. I really appreciated it. It was really great technology, state-of-the-art, beautiful but it still does not belong in Epcot. But that's a whole other rant that I'm not gonna touch because we have to focus on the subject today. And Ratatouille I'm excited for because it takes place in France. And it's going in the France Pavilion, so you're not taking away its identity. And that's what's important. The other news that's happening so far is Future World, that Ellen's Energy Ride is closing and Guardians of the Galaxy is replacing it. Now it's a bittersweet moment for me because Ellen's Energy Ride is the first way that I was aware of Ellen DeGeneres and 
when I was little, I thought that she was actually on the ride. I didn't realize that she was a comedian. I thought that this was just her ride, and I loved it, and it was one of my favorites. It is outdated, but I still, it, it has that nice charm to it, but the problem is, is it's 45 minutes. I feel like if it was a 20 minute ride, it would be a lot more popular because there's just so much to do in Epcot now, so a lot of people skip over it. And I feel like because of the length, because back then they didn't have as much, so it was a nice break. However, because of the length now, it's there's too much to do and there's not time to spend an hour in this ride so I understand why they are closing it everyone was expecting it to close for years however I'm just really sad that they're closing it in a month because I'm not getting down there till December this year and I don't get to ride it again and that just makes me sad, even though, because I'm like, I don't get a, a final ride on it. I know I've written it tons of times before, and I, I know the ride, and I've loved the ride, so I've experienced, and my experience has been fulfilled, but it's still bittersweet, because it, it's a classic, and it's something that was from the beginning of the park, and they're changing things. I'm really surprised that they didn't mention anything about innovations because innovations is something that's empty and needs to put something in there. Guardian of the Galaxy I am excited for. I really hope they do a good job because my Marvel's precious to me. So I am excited that there is a Marvel presence coming to Disney World because the whole loop hole craziness with Universal. I am really happy to see some presence but I I'm not going to really judge it until I see more of what they do because I just, I'm realistic about it. I just want to make sure that they do a good job with it. I'm sure they will, but, um, and then the only other news for Future World that we know about is the Mission Space Restaurant extension. Now, personally, I really don't like Mission Space. I went on both versions of it. It's interesting, but to me, I wrote it once. I'm, I'm good with it. I don't need to write it again. It's something that I don't feel like I have to go on every time. It's not like Soarin' where Soarin' I, I can ride it three times in a row and would love to ride it more if the wait wasn't that long. I would ride that ride all day and I don't have that same love for Mission Space. So I know they're trying to make it more family friendly. They're adding another mission into Mission Space itself and they are putting a new restaurant in which is probably going to go where the festival center is now which was the wonders of life pavilion years ago and it kind of goes but i because future world nasa and everything i'm they're probably expanding it to probably bring more to it it'll probably be a really neat idea to have a nasa restaurant outer space restaurant uh, again, we'll have to see how it goes. It's nothing that I'm just like, I'm so excited for this, I can't wait. Nothing really happened so far. There's still probably, there's still going to be a lot more coming, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> nothing has been confirmed for Animal Kingdom, but then they just have Pandora. So that's kind of on hold for now. I know there's rumors about Zootopia Land. I am, that's something I'm excited for. It's a rumor right now, but that's something that I would be fully on board with. I adore Zootopia and I want to see more presence within the park. <laughs> and, all right. So now let's discuss Hollywood Studios, which I am just, ugh. I am really upset about Hollywood Studios. This is the one announcement that they had where I am so sad and so mad about everything because they are ruining the park. <laughs> now I have made a video about this um, when Streets of America was closing before everything was up in the air and they were just shutting everything down. And in that video I discuss a lot more of my concerns and you guys can watch it right there about how Hollywood Studios is being doomed. They're just crushing the park. So Hollywood Studios, MGM Studios, was my favorite park. I love film, I love the history of film, the classic movies I appreciate and it makes me so sad 
that these kids are not going to be able to grow up and discover these films anymore. The nice thing that they had was that they were showcasing the golden age of Hollywood and they were showcasing where we started from. Walt Disney World started because it was a film company, it was an animation company in the golden age of Hollywood. Mickey Mouse was in the golden age of Hollywood when film was brand new and everyone was experimenting. They made magic and they really brought forth so much creativity and so many amazing films. All these classics, Wizard of Oz still stands like it's a timeless classic. Everyone knows Wizard of Oz. You can go and you can see that Dorothy's still a popular Halloween costume for all these little girls. And I know Wit Wicket, it's still relevant, so it kind of helps. But that's just an example. And for and I know a lot of these kids aren't going to pay attention, but the TM, TCM renovation, I really appreciated that because they were talking more technical where you have George Millier's being referenced for A Trip to the Moon and going in deeper and discussing more film techniques and showcasing more directors, more stars, more classic. I, they added so much to it. I was really pleased with how they turned The Great Movie Ride with the TCM partnership and the fact that they are just destroying it is the final nail in the coffin for this park. It was my favorite park and they took everything away that I loved about this park. And I'm surprised they didn't say anything about Indiana Jones being canceled closed because that's something that is more outdated. What? There's like nothing in the park now. They're shutting this ride down in a month as well. I don't get to ride it again because again I'm going back in December so everything's gonna be closed by then and they are just ruining this park. I am very sad about this. This is just it's a sore subject for me. So I am not a fan of what they're doing in the regards to Hollywood Studios. I know they're trying to make it more like California Adventure, but they're changing California Adventure too, and they're taking away the historical t feel of Hollywood for that, and that's California, and that's where it all started. So I really don't know what they're doing with everything. I really hate that they're trying to be immersive now and they're trying to compete with Harry Potter World because Harry Potter World is such a special entity that you can't try to recreate. You cannot really compete with it. And I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I A lot of my friends are so I am aware of how immersive and impactful it was. But when I was little I really didn't get into Harry Potter and I still, it's not really my cup of tea but everyone has their own thing and it really is cool to be able to go into that world. However, like I said, it's really special. It's something that really cannot be replaced or competed against. It's something on its own. And what was different from every other movie product that you have with Universal, like I mentioned in the video, because I don't want to try to keep ranting about it even though it's going on for crazy, um, the difference is, is that Disney it showed a historical side to it and you really got to still have that learning curve where you are showcasing these classics and these kids may not know about it now but later on they could be like oh yeah I am familiar with this they may remember this and then want to check it out. We're losing our movie history and that's what got me into this film business in the first place. So uh -huh. By replacing the great movie ride into this Mickey ride, they could have been doing it so much more nicer, They could, which I know a lot of people are saying too, if they took Mickey Mouse and basically made an evolution of progress, and that was the ride where you started with Steamboat Willie and then went up to today, that would have been great. It showcases the history and where they came from in the film industry, where they started out in the film industry. So where they're at now. But no, they're just doing some random new style animation of Mickey Mouse, which I'm not that big a fan of. Compare this Mickey Mouse to this Mickey Mouse. Which one is drawn better? This one. <laughs> the original. Don't mess with the original. So I don't. Mm. 
I'm just, no, you're, you're ruining my park. You took away Backlot, you took away The Streets of America, and you took away The Great Movie Ride. I am not a fan of the Hollywood Studios anymore. I'm still gonna go because there's still some fun things to do there, but they are ruining my park. Some good news that I am so excited about, the only thing I'm really excited about, and it's not on the East Coast obviously because of the agreement, is that Marvel Land is coming to Disney California Adventure! And I don't know when the opening date is, but I'm making sure that I am their opening date because I can finally fangirl over my characters and I'm really, like, I know Star Wars people are about, I'm not really into Star Wars, like I said, I'm a casual fan, but Marvel is where it's at and I am hyped because there's no Marvel presence in the parks. There's only a little bit in California. I'm not in California yet, but I will get there. <laughs> so there's, that's the one good announcement over the rest of this burning fire, basically. <laughs> There are new hotels being built. There's a new Star Wars hotel being built. There's too much Star Wars. Like, it's cool, it's immersive. I, I'm not really on this train. I want a Hollywood Tower hotel. I think that would be beautiful. I am on this huge rant about them needing to keep the 30s alive <laughs> in Hollywood Studios. <laughs> I'm gonna get so many comments. <laughs> about being like, let it go. Yeah, um, I, I just feel like there's so many more creative hotels that they could be building compared to this immersive Star Wars that is overkill. Frozen was bad enough. The Frozen craze we thought was horrible. No, nothing compares to the Star Wars craze right now. They are brilliant films. I will give you credit for that, but they are literally overkilling everything right now because all you see is Star Wars in the parks. So for me, it's unbalanced. Like even I would say if, if it's nothing but Marvel, I would get tired of it. And I'm a Marvel fan girl, so that's the comparison. It's I'm keeping a balance here. You want to be able to enjoy a little bit of everything. And um, yeah, so I think that's the important updates. Um, Incredible 2, when it comes to movies, they show a little bit of Incredibles 2. They gave a release date for that. I'm excited for that. That's going to be continuing a minute after the first movie ended. So that was a brilliant film. I'm looking forward to seeing that. wreck Ralph 2 trailer was released, yet it's not online. But by the time this is up, hopefully it will be online because I love wreck Ralph and I I'm so excited to see what they do. It's such a creative idea that he goes into the internet now compared to just video games. It That's how you use technology. That is a great film idea and I am looking so forward to it. That's coming out next year as well. When it comes to announcements, that's pretty much the important ones. Uh, what is the main focus is what's happening in the parks because that is my favorite part of the Disney universe is what's happening down in Walt Disney World and Disneyland because they are doing some things over there. So let me know what you guys think. I know I have my strong opinions. I want to know what you guys are looking forward to, what you like, what you don't like, what they announced, and if you guys could change anything in any park or anywhere in the Disney universe, let's say, what would you change and why? As always, I hope you guys have a magical day and I will see you real soon. <laughs>